there's someone in there, right? Why don't you take a seat? Oh, man. Uh -huh. Welcome to the confessional. It seems a new lamb has appeared. Who are you? This is the world of nightmares. You are the lambs who have been chosen. You'll all be dead soon. What? Don't be ridiculous. But before I kill you, I want to determine your life's worth. So, I'll have you answer my question. Damn it, what is this? Question one. Is marriage the point where life begins or ends? Pull the rope with the answer that best matches your true feelings. <laughs> oh, so that's your choice. That's surprising. Hey, who are you? Are you doing all this? No. I merely watch over the sheep. Someone else dropped you here. Someone in the real world wanted you to be dropped here and wanted you to die. It's someone you know. <sighs> if you want the truth, you'll have to survive. But since you seek survival, I will take you to the next trial. Damn it, what is going on? Hey. I told you, sit down first. Oh, man. You're here, Lost Lamb. You'll be answering another of my questions. All right, I've had enough of this. A man's worth can't be measured by a single question. This is the second question. Where do you feel the most calm? In a dark, quiet room? Or a bright and noisy room? So that's your answer. I see. I'll answer your question this time, little lost lamb. This entire place is an immense sanctuary. There are eight floors. This is the second night, and only the second floor. Wait, so does that mean there's an end to this? If I can get to the end, I don't have to die? Don't get your hopes up. You'll never be able to reach the pinnacle. Anyway, listen. I hear the sounds of your night terrors approaching. <laughs> Are you ready? I don't like that laugh. So what the hell's going on here? Here, take me up. Don't be so impatient. Sit down. Oh, man. You're here, Lamb. Why are you doing this? We're climbing up these weird blocks, and the monster from yesterday? What was that? This is your dream. What appears depends on you, doesn't it? Oh, I can't let you carry your memories of your dream back into the real world. If you were to try anything in reality, It'd be troublesome for my game. <laughs> well, now you'll be answering my question. This is the third question. Do you envy actors who are frequently used in sex scenes? Oh, really? So that's your choice. How interesting. Your abilities are exceptional. You best work hard. It's not like no one has ever survived. Really? Far above this place, on the eighth floor, there's a cathedral. 
It's said that those who reach that holy pinnacle will have the path of freedom opened unto them. And of course, from this nightmare as well. So if I climb to the very top, I'll be saved? I've said too much. I'll guide you to the next trial. Cathedral, huh? Okay, fine. I know. Sit down. Oh, man. I can't believe you didn't fall to the spike traps. That was fun to watch. I suppose you're different from the other sheep who stop here and wait for morning. Afraid. Waiting for destiny to save them. I could put this off, but it'll only make me suffer longer. This is the fourth question. If you were to cheat on someone, who is more likely to be at fault? <laughs> hmm, so that's how you think. I'll take that as your honest answer. Hey, did all the other guys in here have the same person drop them in here? This is not the time to be worrying about the other sheep. Not if you want to survive. Listen, I can hear the voice of the one trying to take your life tonight. Again? How much longer are we going to play this game? Stop complaining and sit down. Oh, man. Here you are, lost lamb. You're quite good to get through that wall. Now, this is the question. This is the fifth question. Is age nothing but a number when it comes to love? So that's the one you choose. I'm beginning to understand you. Now, this is the fourth floor. Once you're past this, you will be halfway through. Finally. Night after night. I wish you'd go easy on me, damn it. It's too bad. You're the one who tried to take someone else's future first. Think. Whose future are you about to steal away? What are you trying to say? <laughs> we'll go soon. Just who are you? Why are you doing this? I could explain, but I doubt you'd understand. In any case, sit down if you want to talk. Oh, man. You've already made it to the fifth floor. I see you were able to pass the slippery ice. Good for you. I mean, you could kill me in an instant if you wanted to. Do you, do you enjoy watching us scramble? I don't intend to answer anything else at this point. I'm the one asking the questions. This is the sixth question. When you think of the top three things you find attractive about a member of the opposite sex, is good housekeeper one of them? <laughs> Which one? Hmm. That one, huh? I wonder if you're being truthful. Oh well, that doesn't matter. You're free to answer as you choose, after all. Now, things will only get more difficult from this point on. It won't be like the previous levels. And the 
place you would call true hell is coming soon. <laughs> this discussion is over. Let's go. Adult, please. Oh, you're awfully bold today. Just sit. Oh, man. That was very impressive. Not only that, you've led the other sheep this far. Is it best to live a life of no responsibility? <laughs> well, you're going with that? Okay. By the way, Getting much further than this won't be an easy feat. You should give up. Save yourself the pain. You're just trying to scare me because I'm so close to the top. It's not like that. I think you know already what exactly is chasing you. <sighs> like I said before, you'll face true hell tonight. No matter what happens, if escaping's the only way to survive, I have to do it. Okay, then let's go. The night will be over soon, too. Buddy, we can talk once you sit down. Oh, man. This is the clock tower, the sixth floor. You're really good. You've been going at a pace of one floor per night so far. Come on, hurry up and ask your question. I want to get this over with tonight. This is the eighth question. What do you do when you receive a phone call from someone you don't like? Which one? So you choose that one. Hmm. I see. Do you remember what I told you before? That there is someone who put you here? Can't be. Whatever this place is, isn't it a dream? That's why even the smallest of fears and doubts become magnified here. <laughs> remember that. Do I have to tell you? Sit down. Oh, man. Huh. Seems you're getting used to the machine-based traps as well. Hey, what's up with those sheep that attacked me? Ah, yes. There are many sheep like that now. They've lost their sanity. If you lose your mind, all you have left to lose is your life. They don't exist in the real world anymore. Are you serious? This is the ninth question. Would you be worried or jealous if your significant other had good friends of the opposite sex? <laughs> w which one? So that's your choice. Huh. Interesting. Oh yes, you're in the middle of the clock tower stage. From the next section on, your trials will get longer and longer. But 
You're running out of time. Then hurry the hell up. I'll get out of here before the night is over. Very well. I'll take you to the next level. Climbing skills are remarkable! I don't care what little speech you have. Hurry up! This is the tenth question. What would you do if you found out that your significant other was cheating on you? <laughs> well, which one? That one, huh? Very well. I've noted it. Hurry up before I start getting nervous for no reason. <laughs> Nervous, huh? I expect that you will be attacked by... something... <sighs> to the cathedral starts here. Your mental powers will be truly tested here. Think hard while you challenge these areas. <laughs> I'll get her back. Hey, I'm here. Hurry up and send me up. If that's what you want, then stop talking and sit down. that you got to this level. Whatever. Hurry up. Yeah, you're right. Well then, we'll begin. This is the 11th question. What would you do if your significant other fell in love with someone else? <laughs> I see. So that's the one. Hmm. Hey, isn't this the 7th floor? Get past this part. Isn't the goal right there? Correct. This level leads directly to the cathedral. The eighth floor, the cathedral, is where you will find an end to this. And freedom. Right. I'm almost there then. I'll escape from this place as fast as I can. <laughs> I'll take you to the next level then. Catherine. Take a seat. Oh, man. I knew you'd come. I'm not surprised anymore. Any sheep who made it this far wouldn't die so easily now. This is the twelfth question. Is there more to a man-woman relationship than physical differences? your selection all right let me say this so you'll understand if you're able to pass the next trial the cathedral awaits you 
I must say, you honestly have a chance of making it. I've been set on that since the beginning. More than that, do you remember what I told you before? The path of freedom will be open to those who reach the holy pinnacle. If you make it, what kind of freedom would you want? What do you mean? It's all so clear to me. I finally know what's truly important. I was afraid because a lot was going on. But now I want the freedom to gain what I know matters. That's why I have to get out of here. <laughs> I see. Let's hurry then. There's still more levels on this floor. Take me up. You know the question comes first. Now sit. Oh, man. Hello. It seems you've survived, just as I predicted. But this level won't be overcome just through experience. You'll need luck as well. I see something special in you. Like the man who climbed this entire tower long ago. So somebody got out of here before. I'm gonna do even better than he did. There's more than one person depending on me now. This is the 13th question. Do you find yourself buying too much food when you're hungry? <laughs> That's your selection. <laughs> well, let's get a move on. You've come more than halfway up this level. After two more trials, it will end. You will then be at the cathedral. It doesn't matter where I am anymore. I'm gonna keep climbing until I've reached the goal. I'm gonna take care of everything tomorrow. After that, I'll finally be able to tell her how I feel. I'm gonna finish climbing this thing tomorrow and move on with my life. is the final challenge, a 10-story wall. Use your mind to create a path to the entrance for the next area. The first of the great trials is a road split into three paths. Beware the mystery blocks and tackle these stairs with all your wit and skill. Bad. But this is just the beginning. It'd be poor. Well, give me your best shot. Hey, it's me again. Here's something else. Well, sit down then. <sighs> I've been waiting for you. I knew you'd make it here. This is heaven. Even higher than the cathedral! You lying bastard. You said I'd be free after I beat the cathedral, son of a bitch! My girlfriend just dumped me. I'll never accept this ending. <laughs> but you came here by your own choice. And now, I will ask you how prepared you are to pursue your freedom. This is the first question to freedom. Are you prepared to risk your life to get back together with a former lover? <laughs> You're brave. But just because you can see her again doesn't mean things will go well for you. Be prepared, though. You're challenging him. Oh, 
that hinting that the person who put me here was close to me, like it was a friend or a lover, when it was just the bartender? Just the bartender? I may not look it, but I am a god. Damn it. Where are you guys? Why don't you tell me who you are? All right. My name is Astaroth. I watch you humans from a world high above. Astaroth? A world above? What? You weren't satisfied with my introduction? That's too bad. We'll talk further on. If you're still alive. <laughs> Wait. You're pretty quick, but you've got a long way to go before you can face me. Will you be able to survive? I'm here. Hurry up. All right, then. Sit. Oh, man. <laughs> you made it through that most difficult of stages. Good for you. I praise the fight in you. Before we continue, I want to make sure of one thing. I want to know what is inside you. If it's the truth within you, then your future will be blessed. This is the second question to freedom. Do you wish for a peaceful life? <laughs> I see. I understand. I will answer a question of yours, too. You were covered in desire, in temptation, which cast you down here. Lies, deceit, betrayal. Oh, it's terrible. This is a place where sinners are tried. Haven't you heard of it? This judgment will have a positive impact on the future of humanity. So, this is about the good of mankind? Wow, that's so beautiful. It, you know, makes me want to cry. But why is it just men? This city is filled with traitors. I ordered him to bring the lowest of the low, like you. Here. Hey, don't call me that. Even if, if it might be true. But that means you're behind all this. Show me your face. You'll never see his face. Not in a thousand years. Besides, isn't knowing his name enough? That's enough talk. Let's move on. I wish you the best of luck. I don't need your wishes. I'm not gonna lose. help you now. It's the real goodbye next time. Now prepare to die. Hey, how's it going? I'm still alive. Amazing. Well, sit. Oh, man. <laughs> Good, Vincent. The way you climb is a work of art. I can't let anything slow me down have come this far. There is no correct answer to this trial. So I'm going to ask a question of you, who has made it this far. I'm going to ask you one more time. This is the third question to freedom. Do you wish for the excitement of chaos? <laughs> oh, I see. This is the midway point here in heaven. I'll take you to the next trial. 
I'll be praying for a good performance. And for your success. There's nothing to do but climb. I'm getting out of here. You have this much will to survive. Very well. Just as I said. I wish I could have seen his face, but there's no time for that. Next time we meet, your life will be over in no time. <laughs> How tall is this damn thing? I've been climbing forever. Really? You're almost there. Now sit down. It's entertaining to witness someone becoming a legend. Doesn't happen often. First, I must praise you for having survived thus far. This bullshit again. What do I have to tell you this time? What makes you so desperate? Isn't it obvious? I'm gonna get back what I lost. Hmm. Now let me ask. What are you living for? What? What's the point of asking questions at this point in your game? Life isn't so simple that I can just boil it down that easily. Just... Who are you? What do you mean? Uh-huh, that's the curse. There's no escaping this place without having an answer of some sort. You may be different from the average man, but that doesn't mean I can let you go. I'll hear what you truly wish for. This is the last question to freedom. Are you prepared to live the rest of your life in the peace that you wished for? <laughs> That's your answer. All right, I understand. Everything is prepared now. I can finally guide you to the stage where you'll fight him. There was once a man who took up this challenge, just like you. This man became a legend. He stopped being human and became one of us. <laughs> yes, he is Thomas Mutton, the one awaiting you at the next trial. Now that he has become one of us, we call him Dumuzid. All the traps were created by him. He knows this place through and through, making him a difficult opponent. So he used to be a human. Well, I'm not gonna lose to him. Now be faced with the creator of the Great Trials. Use all the techniques you've learned to avoid his fierce attacks. The time has come. Curse you, sheep! How could this happen? Oh! Very well. This makes it war, boy! I swear, in the name of Dumazid, the Shepherd, Consort of Ishtar, your race is mine, punk! Prepare yourself! tower is really tall. That mutton asshole isn't gonna keep throwing these at me forever until I die, is he? Don't worry, there will be an end to this. A pinnacle. The next stage will be your last, I assure you. So come, sit down. Oh, 
You're finally here. Above this place is a path that reaches to the heavens. You finally appeared. A man with potential. I've been waiting for you. Waiting for me, huh? Were you trying to kill me this whole time? This is a sanctuary where we give those with potential a baptism and freedom. This is a game of death where experience and intuition are your only tools to survive. There is no right and wrong. Tomorrow only comes for those with the power to overcome the challenge. Yeah, I kind of already knew that. This is all a dream in my head. If this is my dream, then no matter what comes my way, I know I'll be able to handle it. <laughs> you are bold. So different from the man who first entered here. My job here is done. You've successfully endured the baptism. Coming next will be the final trial of the heavens. This will be your last battle. I am always near you. I have many faces and many names. When this sanctuary is bathed in Ishtar's love, I'll see you again in a place far removed from here. Somewhere else? Keep your eyes up and go. Hey, you have to tell me twice. You sure love to talk right up to the end. The final stage of the Great Trials is upon us. This is the ultimate test. Face the gods' full power with all your might. When you reach Heaven's door, you will gain true freedom. How long is this gonna go on? <sighs> Faster than I expected. Screw you! I'm not playing games here. I'm almost there. Who's gonna win tonight, bitch? What are you talking about? I was just messing around. Just making you come. <laughs> Imagined you climb the Imperial. Hello, everyone. It's nice to be able to see you again. How'd you enjoy the show? A perfect escape from the terrifying nightmare. You led Vincent out with your exceptional skills. Even Astaroth, the mastermind behind the nightmares, was amazed. Did you happen to notice the central conflict that this game's masterful creators placed at its core? Do you want to live a comfortable and steady life? Or do you secretly long for a free life, full of excitement? In the nightmare, Astaroth said that there is no right way to climb the tower. The stairway Vincent was forced to climb could be taken as a metaphor. It symbolized the journey to adulthood, pressuring him to make his tough life decisions. Don't you agree? And the finale. Mm. Vincent begging his lover to come back to him. I hung on every word, wondering how she would react to his desperate plea. She was at a loss as Vincent poured his heart out to her. But in the end, 
She answered him with a smile. <laughs> if you ask me, I'd say she's a bit too forgiven. But this is the answer Vincent discovered after forging through his nightmarish ordeal. Catherine must have felt the strength of his conviction, and she knew that this was his true answer. Maybe it depends on how much of Vincent's feelings that she can sense. You think that could be what determines the future for those two, hmm? Hey, tell me, what did you players out there think of this outcome? I sure do hope their second chance works out. Mm. Ah, they'll be all right, won't they? So are you worried about them? Mm. Cause I know I am. Well, let's peer a bit into their future together, shall we? <laughs> Games are lovely creations, aren't they? Hope to see you soon. Stay golden.